everybody know what day it is? It's Jackpot Sunday! Are you having issues with your film sound quality? Ever wonder why the in-camera audio is so bad? I mean, it's really awful. Zesty Mike is gonna go over the importance of sound and give you some alternatives that won't break the bank. And then we reveal the Jackpot winner of the $100,000 sponsorship, powered by Freedom. What is up, Freedom? My name is Esty Mike. So last week we talked about equipment that's lying around your house. This week we're talking about equipment that I wish I had lying around my house. Because it's very important. Today we're talking about audio. Whether you're a gamer, a vlogger, or a filmmaker, audio either makes or breaks your video. Let's say you have a beautiful full HD picture, or even 4K now that YouTube allows it. It can be as beautiful as possible, but if the audio is bad, chances are you're not going to want to watch it. Let's take me for example. I'm going to shut off this mic for a second. You can see a difference between using an external mic and an on-camera mic. Now as you can see, I sound like complete garbage, and chances are you're not going to want to watch this video much longer, and you might be enticed to click that X button. But don't, because we're going to bring back good audio in a second. Good audio helps sell a video, even if it's low quality. If it's low quality and has good audio, it's still very watchable. When you have good audio, you connect to the viewer much easier than if you have bad audio. The goal with videos is to take the viewer away from their normal situation and help them correlate with the video. And if you have bad audio, they're not going to be thinking about the video, they're going to be thinking about bad audio. If you have good audio, then they're able to disassociate themselves and actually understand the audio and enjoy it. Now, audio can sometimes be very expensive, but there are cheap solutions to getting good audio. For instance, the mic I'm using right now is the Audio-Technica 2020. It was $100 and it sounds pretty good. Obviously I could get better, but for the price, I am very satisfied and I didn't have to spend a whole bunch of money. And there's also cheaper solutions that also sound quite good. So if $100 is too much for you, you can get something like the Blue Snowball, which is $50, or many other microphones that are still cheap but sound good. But please, for the love of pancakes, don't ever, ever, ever use an on-camera mic. Just go and spend a a little bit extra money and get yourself either a digital recorder, a shotgun mic, a condenser mic, whatever you need to do to get external audio because on camera mics are just, they're just no good. No good at all. So getting the best mic completely depends on your situation. For instance, if you're a gamer, I recommend getting a condenser mic because you can get that nice crispy sounding voice. Now you can always use a headset and use the headset mic, but I just, I don't recommend it. And here's why. You can get a $100 mic and it's gonna sound amazing. You can get a $100 set of headphones and it's gonna sound amazing. But if you get a $100 headset that has both mic and headphones, it's gonna have half of both worlds and both of them aren't gonna sound as good as if you wouldn't bought the full version. So I recommend getting yourself a good pair of headphones and then a good condenser mic and you're gonna be able to save money and it's gonna sound much better, in my opinion at least. Now if you're a filmmaker, this is where things get technical because you have to hide the microphone. If the microphone's in the shot, it ruins it unless you're doing like a documentary or a, a TV show show or something that you could actually see the microphones. You can get a lavalier mic, but then you have the issue that if your actress or actor moves, you're gonna have that shirt rustling sound and it's gonna be really, really distracting and you probably won't even be able to use it. You can get a handheld mic, but then your actor or actress has to be holding it in their hand. You could use a condenser mic like I'm using right now, but the issue with that is you have to be up close and personal. If you don't get it right up in their face, that's not gonna sound very good and it's gonna be quite echoey. So if you're only gonna buy one microphone for your setup, what I always recommend is getting a shotgun mic. These are directional, so that means it's not gonna pick up any noise behind it. It has low interference, and you can actually use a boom pole or a boom stand and get it right over top of your actor or actress and get it as close as possible without being in the frame and get a nice crisp sounding voice. Now my personal favorite shotgun microphone is the Audio-Technica 897. For the price, I'm blown away at how good this mic is. I've used $100 mics, $150 mics, and this one I think clocks in right around $175, and I have never had an issue with it, and it sounds next to perfect. And it can even record nice audio on those wide shots as well. But anyways guys, I hope this helps you decide what microphone you want to use for what setup. If you have any questions regarding any microphones in particular, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to address it in the next episode. If you want to see more of me, Brittany, or Tiffany even, you can come over to my personal channel. The link is down in the description below and you can check out all the behind the scenes and a day in our daily life. But anyways guys, it's that time again. Tiffany, you go get them, girl. Thanks Mike. So you're telling me I don't sound good like this? Hmm. Let's see who's going to take home $400 in grand prizes based on organic viewership over the last week. And of course you get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And now to Rick who has the best sound equipment in the world. There are a few truths about war. 
It separates brothers, unites allies, and decimates those who are unprepared. Your strategic thinking and forethought seems to have paid off as you battle forward on your quest to unite yourself with your growing audience. This audience is the key to your victory as they are both your allies and a tactical force that you now know how to mobilize to help achieve your goals. To the victor go the spoils this day. $400 and grand prizes! Yes, I'm talking to you, Maschiotic Gaming. You won! You've obviously been paying attention to the advice given by the Freedom Family toward growing organically. Now you get to choose from all of these prizes to celebrate 88% of viewership growth in the last 30 days. With this win on the battlefield of YouTube, I remind you of the words of Teddy Roosevelt. Walk softly and carry a big stick. Congratulations, Maschiotic Gaming. War. War never changes, but only if you're playing Fallout. If you're playing Metal Gear Solid, war pretty much changes. Congratulations, Freedom Partner, on a job well done. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse, and tomorrow, Zach is going to review another awesome game. I don't know which one, but I know it's awesome. Stay tuned for that. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany, and I like my squeaky little voices on camera. God, this isn't smell of vision because I smell like garlic. Isn't that smell like garlic? Yeah, that would be better. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just meowed for the rest of the video? Meow. 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 Now let's give it back to Tiffany to find out who the grand prize winner is in today's $100,000 <laughs> sponsorship powered by Freedom. And it's also got a virtual 7.1 surround sound built into it. Now that's not awesome. That's. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube stuff. Stop it, Nora! We have dogs biting each other's faces. Oscar, come here. <laughs> oh, Nora, stop. <laughs> Bye, Huh? Does anybody edit this stuff beside you? Me and Chris. I edited it. Chris is day. listening right now. Well, make it quick. Cause it, I would like to let him know. That I'm Jackass? Yes. yes. All your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.